Hello, everyone, and welcome to the first episode of Beyond a Steel Sky, which is the sequel to the long awaited sequel, I should say, to Beneath a Steel Sky, which was released in 1994. Beyond a Steel Sky was released in 2020. So, quite a long wait, and apparently, a lot of people were very interested in there being a sequel. And we have one now, so yeah, we just finished the previous game last week, so let's start the new one today. Let's just jump right in and see what this one is all about. I'd already decided it was going to be my last night in Max's village. I was sorry to be leaving, but I was restless again. Are we Robert Foster Beware! again? Beware! The day grows dark, and demons stalk the gap by night. Harsh old woman, stop your superstitious nonsense. Besides, this is the best time of day for fishing, eh, Marlo? Yes, Dad. We are definitely Robert, because I recognize that shirt. Look, Foster, I use these broken sensors to make a fish alarm. It detects the fish before it bites. Nice work, Milo. Milo was just like me as a boy. And the tech skills I'd taught him would help the village after I left. <laughs> Do you really have to go, Foster? How can we ever pay you back for all you've done? It's been my pleasure, Max. One of Anita's pies will be payment enough. I owed the Gap folks so much. My first tribe fostered me when I was orphaned all those years ago. Yep. They taught me how to recycle tech scavenged from city dumps. Soon, I even built myself a playmate. Joey! I'm your friend. Call me Joe. Joey. <laughs> Joey and I were always together. As I grew, I upgraded him. He became the best friend I ever had. Yeah. But then... Foster! Foster, wake up! The sensors detect a fish! It's a big one. Sure, it's a fish. No. Nope. What the? It was no fish. Max, keep back! Marlo! Dad, what are they? Max! Drop him, you... Dad! Foster! Help me! Help me! Kidnapping him. Milo had gone. The machine, too. But its riders had left something behind. Max? Milo? What's happened, Foster? Where's my son? Max? Max? Oh, no! I told them. I told them there were demons stalking the dark. I don't know the if I would call them that demons. This was a machine, not a demon. Yeah. Please, Foster, I don't understand. What... What happened? I told Anita everything I could, though I knew very little. Hmm. All very strange. Max was barely conscious. I could only hope that with Anita's loving care, he would recover. Yeah, I mean, As he got me, quite the shock. I had to follow Milo and his captors immediately. Yeah. I'll bring Milo home, Anita. I promise. Thank you, Foster. I know you will. I will certainly do my best. I left the village. The featureless wastes of the gap stretched away from me. Night followed day, then day dawned once more. Time lost meaning as the tracks beckoned me ever forward. Determination had long replaced sadness. Whatever it took, I would find Milo. The tracks were barely visible now, blurred by the wind. But I was sure I'd reach their destination soon. Then I saw the thing I feared the most approaching. Oh boy. Sandstorm. I battled forward, but now could only guess that my direction was correct. Yeah. 
I decided to save my energy and sank into an exhausted sleep. Maybe the old woman was right. Maybe demons did stalk the gap. For as it shrieked and thundered around me, the storm brought back my nightmare once more. Union City security was attacking. As my tribe screamed in terror, I salvaged Joey's motherboard. Taken captive, I couldn't save my village. But I survived when the security copter crashed, entering Union City. Yep. On the run, I, I soon got Joey working. Upgraded yet again, he helped me overthrow the evil that ran the city. As I left, I told him to make the citizens happy. Union City was no place for me. I wanted to be where I could do most good, helping the scattered people of the Gap. I woke to find the storm had passed. But not without finishing its cruel work. Yep. The tracks were gone. I was lost, and so, I feared, was Milo. Then, I heard them. Gang gang birds. Scavengers. And in this wasteland, that meant only one thing. People. Yep. They are where the food is. All right. And so the game begins. Despair turned to hope. I was sure that if I could find where the stalker had gone, I would find Milo. Then, in the distance, I saw a girl crouching over a body. That body looks very much like, uh... What attacked us? That bird looks different. It's purple instead of red. The girl was holding a device to the lifeless hand. Hey! Excuse me! That bit rude there, Foster. Who the hell are you? I'm searching for a vehicle that... I just... Whatever that device was, the bird had it now. Yup, and it's my fault. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. A corpse lay propped against a rock. The gang gang birds were eyeing up the corpse hungrily. Okay, I'm guessing I don't actually have anything. Really? Can I <laughs> shoot them away? I guess not. There were a few things that would scare gang gangs, and a crowbar was not one of them. I would need to find another solution. Or anything I else? To check out that body. It was the only clue I had. Yeah, but I need something to scare the birds with. I needed to check out that body. It was the only clue I had. Mm, I know. But the birds are in the way. No way I was going to get between those birds and their feast. Hmm. Do I have to give them the pie? Guess so. The girl had been doing something to the guy's hand. I wondered what. He'd clearly been dead for days. The logo. I'd seen it before. Security? On the androids that had taken Milo. Oh. Right. The girl was my only lead. 
My security logo did fall. not look like that. And what do we see? Union City. Oh boy. I was back. So much bigger than it seemed in the first game. I mean, didn't really see many uh, screens of that. Those are driving fast. For years, I'd heard rumors of how the city had thrived since I'd left Joey in charge. I was finally going to see for myself. Yeah. I mean, that sign is not looking promising. Or isn't making it look promising, rather. Like I said. Oh. Halt. Hello. Welcome, unregistered Gaplander. Well, hi. And you are? Community Welfare Droid 2CU at your service. To commence your Union City registration, please make your way to the immigration terminal. That's okay, I'm not here to register. I'm looking for... If you're looking for the immigration terminal, it's right over there. Thank you. Okay. Registration? So how do I register? Easy. Just go to the immigration terminal and you'll get a U-chip for your temporary ID. The correct route is indicated by these signs. Sounds easy. It is. <laughs> Without it, you won't be able to interact with any of the Minos devices in this area. Uh, Minos? What's this Minos you mentioned? Minos is the interconnected computer system that is everywhere and controls everything. Everything? Okay. That sounds very similar yeah. to Link. For the convenience of all citizens. And, word to the wise, no U-chip, no access to the Minos devices. Not even the vending machines. So go register. Uh huh. What exactly is a U chip? Don't they teach you Gaplanders anything? A U chip stores your ID and personal data in a micro implant. The immigration right. terminal is easy to find. What's keeping you? The correct route is indicated by these signs. Yeah. Well. Missing Can you kid. Help me find a missing kid. You want to file a missing persons report? Go register. <laughs> I'm looking for a vehicle that maybe came this way. A vehicle? Well, this is a freight entrance. So, you're in the right place. <laughs> right. I need to find a boy called Milo. He was... What you need to find is the immigration terminal. It's right over there. Uh, sure. Now. Bye. Pleasure. Uh -huh. How can I help? Uh, you can't. Oh, the immigration terminal. I guess it's this way? Is it that? The sign was directing me towards immigration. Yeah. Is it pointing this way or just continuing that way? It was a tire or modern art. I couldn't tell which. Nah. Not always easy. Oh, I think I chose the right way. How yeah. can I be of assistance? You can't, okay? I know you don't have anything to do, but you don't have to follow me around. I'm on my way to the registration thing. I guess this was the immigration terminal. Yeah, must be. Welcome to the Union City Registration Terminal. Please place your hand below to receive your U-chip implant. U-chip oh. implant successful. You are now registered with Union City. A U-chip had been implanted into the palm of my hand. I okay. wasn't sure how it was going to help me. Hmm. Well. 
Looks like uh, to see you uh, went away. Door controls? Authorized citizen ID required. Okay. Sure. Gotta try this out with controller instead of keyboard and mouse, at least for a bit. Hello. The guy looked like he'd been out in the sun a bit too long. Smelled like it too. <laughs> <laughs> sir, excuse me, sir. Are you? Whatever you're selling, I ain't buying. No, no, I'm not selling any. A likely story. <laughs> Name's Wendell. Joe Wendell. Hello, Joe. Nice to meet you. That <laughs> remains to be seen. What are you doing here? Well, whilst Bruce's power cell remains as flat as a cow pat, not a whole lot. Mm -hmm. So you're trying to get in the city? Ups a blooming lootly. Trying being the operative word. <laughs> I'm guessing Bruce is his vehicle. I take it this is your truck? It's got my name on it, don't it? Your name is W? Well, some of it. <laughs> and what exactly yeah, is it that you're hauling? Until I get the old boy back up and running, absolutely nothing. Old Bruce is taking a turn for the worse. Your truck's power, power cell. cell has drained. Aye, emptier than a politician's vows. <laughs> there was a sandstorm put the bridge over yeah. yonder out of action. I was told to go park for a few hours. Turned into a few days. Oof. Trying to keep the mini keys cool in this heat emptied the power cell. I wasn't stingy on the air combined, or the margarita blender up in the cab. A working man needs his creature comforts. Anyway, 13.7 volts drained to nout. And they still haven't fixed that blooming bridge. And you've been sat here ever since? No choice, until they send <laughs> someone out to juice up Bruce's power cell. Someone competent, I mean. Mini so, your truck is full of... Mini Knockwurst? You betcha. Mini K, <laughs> best in the gap. Even contains some real meat. Nice. You're welcome to take it on, full. Back of the truck's open, although the doors like to play silly beggars. Oh? That does not look Requires good. Requires a special technique. Ritual, you could call it. Okay. Ritual? Aye. Now listen carefully. Mm -hmm. Step one, give the bumper a wallop. Step two, do a little jig. Step three, pull the door and jerk it hard. Okay. Wall up, jig, pull. Is that it? Wall up, jig, pull. Lad. Okay. And remember the order. Wall up, jig, pull. Yeah. Uh, missing Listen, kid? You haven't seen a child come through here, have you? <laughs> Pinch something of yours. No. no, he was kidnapped from a nearby village. Oh, oh I see. Sorry to hear that. You're not the first I've heard talking about kids going missing in the gap. Mm. But I've never seen any come through here. Have you asked those kids over by the playground? They've been here a lot longer than me. Okay. I'm looking for a vehicle. Well, mate, today's your lucky day. No. This is a vehicle. <laughs> no, I'm looking for a special vehicle. But Brucey is special. All he needs is his power cell and we'll be on our way. The vehicle I'm looking for had four legs and no wheels. A vehicle with legs? <laughs> Think you've got bats in your belfry, mate. Mm -hmm. I'll leave you be. I'm fine okay. with that. Wall up, jig, pull. Let's go and do that. <laughs> there was a strange smell and it was coming from the truck. Ah, just figuring out what the controls are. Murder of gang gangs. I reminded myself of the collective noun. Mm -hmm. the murder of gang gangs. Well, technically it's murder of crows, but yeah. I don't have any food, man. Those birds weren't going to let me anywhere near the back of the truck. No, I need something to distract them with. Talk to these kids. Hey, kid. 
Hey, weird guy. <laughs> My name's not weird guy. I'm Pixel. It's easy to remember because it rhymes with pickle. So it okay. does. I'm Foster. I remember that easy because your name rhymes with fossil and you're old. Thanks, kid. <laughs> Did a Stalker. vehicle come through here recently? Maybe. How recently is recently? Like two nights ago? Oh, then definitely no. But wait, okay. two nights ago? My brother, Voxel, he saw this giant monster. What kind of monster? Like a totally huge, but not real one. Huge, but not real? They didn't have legs. I mean, Voxel says it's totally huge, and Ember says it's not real. Well, which is it? <laughs> I don't know what to believe. Okay. What's this about a giant monster? Right, so my brother Voxel, like two nights ago, it was night time, right? Yeah. And we had been playing this massive game of buzzsaws and dynamos, so I was like, Wah! But, uh, where was I? The giant monster. Yeah. Oh yeah, right. So, later that night, he wakes me up screaming about how he saw a giant monster. Did he describe it? And? That's the end of my story. Don't tell Ember I told you. Missing kid. I'm looking for a boy about your age named Milo, who may have come through here. You're asking the right guy. I remember every face that's come through here since I was a little kid. Yeah? How many's that? Like, at least 12. <coughs> How recently are we talking? Sometime over the past couple of nights. Oh, didn't know. Haven't seen no kids. Okay. Uh, Loxel? My brother, remember? Can I talk mm. to him? I guess, but he's not as friendly or helpful as me. Real question is, will he talk to you? He's been hiding for like two days now. Won't really? speak to nobody but me. Can you tell me where to find him? Maybe he'll talk to me. Nuh uh. You gotta earn that information. Okay. I don't know if I can trust you right now. What's roundabout. wrong with the roundabout? It sucks. Stupid Mr. Hobbsworth put a chain on it. He said it was for safety. Then he dropped the chain on his foot. <laughs> okay. See you around. So, Call me if you need anything. Do I need to fix the roundabout by removing the chain? A sturdy chain tethered the roundabout to the ground. Can I use my crowbar? Look at that. Push me. Oh, hello. You, Ember. I recognize the girl. She was the one who'd run away from me earlier. Yeah. Excuse me. Hello? You. Me what? <laughs> Sorry. You're the guy in the desert. And yep. you're the girl with the corpse. Okay, first of all, that guy was dead long before I got there. And second of all, it's your fault Big Steve stole my deed. Lost your what? To who? Do you realize how much potential trade you cost me? Honestly, I have no idea what you're talking about. Nope, not Ugh. a clue. I trade. I'm a trader. Name's Ember. Ah, hello, Ember. I thought that would be you. What were you doing out there in the desert with that corpse? Mister, are you looking to trade something or what? Trade? Trade, you know, tech, gadgets, knickknacks from the Gap or the city. That's what I do. I collect stuff, sell stuff, trade stuff. Only, since you're interfering, let Big Steve fly off with my deed, it'll be a while before I can make proper trades again. Now, excuse me. What's a DEET? My DEET, man. DTT. Data transfer tool. DEET. What's the okay. DEET for? Duh, transferring data. <laughs> That's what I was doing with that dead fella. Transferring his citizen ID for trading, yeah? You distracted mm -hmm. me, and Big Steve nabbed it and flew off. Like I said, thanks. Who's Big, Big Steve? Steve? You see all these birds all over the place? Yeah. Big Steve's the purple one, with a beak full of my DEET. Uh, that's so are you chip. digging that guy's U-chip out of his hand? What? No! 
data transfer. I told you. I cloned his ID data onto the D for later. What happens later? Well, you know, maybe someone doesn't want to be found. I do swapsies. For a price. Of uh, course. Yeah. Would be bad business not to get paid for it. Tell me about this deet. Simple. I collect IDs and I use the deet to swap them. At least I did until Big Steve grabbed it. All right. Well, let's ask about the stalker. Did you see a strange vehicle come through this way? Strange? You mean like that stinky one there? <laughs> no. No. This one had legs. Not seen anything like that. Maybe you didn't either, crazy. Oh, guy. I saw it. I'm not crazy. Sure, you're not. Uh, I'm looking kid? for a boy named Milo who might have come through here recently. You're looking in the wrong place. Only boys around here are Pixel and Voxel, and the only thing they're missing is a few screws. <laughs> well, I don't have anything to trade with That's her. That's all so. for now. Thanks. Anytime. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> Come back if you want to talk business. For someone with a business interest in dead bodies, she seemed pretty normal. So, hey, about your brother. Push me. Uh, push me. I've got things to do. Push me. Oh boy. Sure, I'll push you. Until you tell me about your brother, where he is. Now. Hey, me again. Wanna push me on the swings? <laughs> Maybe later. Uh, What's wrong with Voxel? Like, why is he hiding? Yeah. Yeah. I told you, man. He thinks he saw a monster. Will you tell me where your brother is hiding? Maybe we can help each other out with our monster problems. Maybe. Yeah, okay. You've done me a favor. He's hiding yeah. in a bench in the garden. I told him I wouldn't tell no one, but you seem okay. A bench in the garden. See you around. Okay. okay. I'll go. And it's garden-ish, I suppose. Is he hiding in that thing? Ah, yes. Hello, Voxel. Shh. What? My name is Foster. I've just got a few questions. Um. I wanted to ask you if you've seen any monsters. <laughs> How do you know about the monster? Uh, do I tell him that it was Pixel? Let's see what happens if I go with Foster. The truth is, I'm a monster hunter. I've been tracking a monster across the desert for days. I think he came through here, and I'm looking for someone brave enough to see it and live to tell the tale. Um, I saw it. Can you describe it? It was big and beasty, and it eats children, and I could hear the screaming, and it was fast and dark and silent. Slow yeah. down, one thing at a time. It was big, mm. like a giant dog. A giant dog? That sounds like what I'm after. Did you yep. see any children? No, but I heard them. I heard kids crying inside its tummy. And where did mm. it go? It sneaked off into the city. After that, I got in here. No way am I gonna let it get me. You've been in here for two days? Still alive, aren't I? Sure. Uh, well, I mean, he won't know exactly about that. Let's ask about the stalker. This giant dog. Where did you see it? I was playing buzzsaws and dynamos with Pixel. I won, and he was really cross. Then, yeah. in the night, I woke up. It was totally dark. I'd heard this sound. Like feet padding along the road. Big feet. And then I heard screams. Children's screams. Yeah. I ran over here and hid in my fort. And you've been in here ever since? Yeah. yeah. I'm hungry. Uh, Did you say you heard kids crying from inside the dog? 
I think so. Sure sounded like that. Any ideas on getting into the city? People go in and out of the main gate. Are you gonna go in there and kill it? <laughs> sure am. That's what monster hunters do best. Then I'm gonna bring Milo and the other children back out. You will? Oh, you better take this. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. What is it? A firecracker. I was gonna use it to kill the monster. But you can have it. I'm sure it will come in handy. What do I do with this firecracker? I don't know. Throw it at the monster. <laughs> but cover your ears. Oh, bye. Thanks, Voxel. Hey, you got anything to eat? I'm kind of hungry. Uh, I could keep an eye out. Mr. Hopsworth sometimes lets me have some of his lunch. He doesn't usually know that, though. <laughs> ah, understood. Voxel's oh. giant dog sounded a lot like the stalker that had taken yeah. Milo. Now I was sure that the stalker had entered the city. There had to be a way in through the main gates. Kind of want to get some of that food in there to give to Voxel, though. But for that, I need to distract the birds. Huh. Enjoy this little piece of happiness, courtesy of Okay. The machine ejected a garish, beclowned can of soda, labeled Spankles. I mean, I guess I could give that to, uh, Voxel. Although I don't know if that's like a snack. Honestly, uh, I am going to talk to that person in the next episode because yeah i am going to end this one here thank you so much for watching make sure to leave a like and subscribe and i will see you next time bye